you know, the you know, the wall had come down and, you know, we're starting to open up more and learn more about the former Soviet Union. And there's the first exhibit of uh, Russian space artifacts was coming over and was on display in Houston. So we went to go see it. And it was amazing how much at that time we just didn't know about this Russian space program. It just was this parallel history that we didn't know anything about. So I was just learning all this stuff for the first time. And I was like, wait, Yuri, the first person, the first human being to leave the surly bonds of Earth, like, also did it on April 12th. And not just April 12th, but like, April 12th, like 20 years later to the day, it was April 12th, 61, April 12th, 1981. And I was like, whoa, because I was, you know, I grew up listening to Sting, if the Russians love their children too, and watching 2010 and being like, you know, why can't our country just get along and go to Jupiter together, you know? And so like, that was my context, you know, in the 80s, you know, it's like, we got to work with the Russians. Um, and so when I found out this like cosmic coincidence happened to be on my birthday, um, I decided we had to act. So. Um, when I was at this UN conference where I met George, uh, you know, with youth delegates from 60 different countries, you know, North Korea, Cuba, you know, all over, everywhere. It was like the most amazing thing. Um, I was like, you guys, we gotta, we gotta do this. And so um, Yuri's Night was born. And we did the first one um, in 2001. This is actually a picture um, from a nightclub in Los Angeles uh, near Hollywood and Vine. Um, where we just threw a, a huge event um, for the first Yuri Sign, and then, you know, and we had I think 69 events in 20 other countries around the world, like also happening on that same night. And it was really an amazing experience for us. Um, and, and the goal of the whole thing for us was to make space cool. You know, we were 20 somethings, and we felt like NASA was doing this job of like making space so boring, and we were frustrated because we thought space was so cool. And so we were trying to reclaim the coolness. You're good, Mary. Um, and, uh, you know, we've had some really cool, one of the things I'm really most proud of is this is actually um, a hangar at NASA Ames, uh, I think in 2008, and basically over the years of Yuri's Night, you know, we got to meet more people, and eventually the center director at Ames, uh, you know, took a liking to us, and he said, well, I think we should throw a party at Ames. I said, that sounds great. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I, how cool is it to have like 4,000 people like dancing and, and there's like art and you know, there's like the Burning Man stuff, you know, this place, you know. Because it's San Francisco, you know, how do you not get that? Um, and we had the DJs going and, and a lot of science came, came and exhibited. So this was really cool mashup. Like all the scientists and all the burners were totally tripping out on just the clashing of the two cultures and how interesting it was for them to get to talk, interact with each other. And the people who have a leg in both communities were so excited. They're like, both my families have come together. <laughs> um, so it was a really fun time. Uh, that's the center director, Pete Warden. Uh, just showing how cool he is by coming out at 1 a.m. To, to welcome the crowd in his like full wizard outfit. Um, he's my hero. Uh, and we had, you know, Pharrell Williams there and uh, Richard Garriott, who's a you know, video game millionaire designer. Uh, whose dad was a, a Skylab astronaut, and he actually is also paid to fly the International Space Station with the Russians. Um, so he's super cool. Um, that's me pregnant, I'm here to say. Um, yeah, we had a, a, a acrobatic show, a, aerobatic airplanes flying, and more art displays from Burning Man, and it was just really amazing. So that's just one of, you know, tons of events around the world. This is one of the bigger ones. I mean, obviously, they're usually a lot more grassroots, but um, it was just really fun. Common was there. He, he, he even made up a special rap for us, like about Ames and Yuri's Night in Space and Yuri. And he was like, this is so cool. <laughs> What's that? Can you sing it for us? Uh, I can't. Actually. No. I wish I could. I wish I recorded it. Um, so, yeah. So, you know, we've got a lot of media attention. You know, the, the, you know some of the tech press really gets, like, this sort of unique space that this is and what it offers, you know, and of course you get all the, the cool costumes and, you know, we have the aircraft on display and, um, you know, Buzz Aldrin comes and, um, you know, all kinds of, you know, Tesla electric cars and art, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so, yeah, and, and then the whole, you know, the whole goal, like I said from the beginning, was sort of to get that meme out there, like, like we got to work together, like as a planet, it's like putting aside all of that animosity of the past and really seeing space as a place where humans are united as like a species and we do this together, you know, as a planet. And that's my goal. Uh, and then I'm just showing off here. We had the Ace of Cakes. We had also did another event at the NASA Goddard Space Center in Maryland. Um, and 
Ace of Cakes came and made this installation for us of Jupiter and the Hubble Space Telescope because it was like about the time of the Hubble servicing mission. And it's like all covered in like their frosting and fondant and stuff. So <laughs> and we got to be on the TV show and as the cake of the week or whatever. <laughs> And now I'm really showing off, because that's me in a Slave Leia outfit. <laughs> I knew I was planning to get pregnant, so I'm like, this is my last chance to do this. Um, and the other goal of your race night is just to you know, use space to bring the world a little closer together. That's sort of what I've been talking about. Um, and so here's some just pictures of other things around the world. This will show sort of like the reach and the, and the connectivity that we have as a, on a human level that I'm so proud of. Um, you know, students in Spain, students in Beijing. We actually had, you know, because a lot of our friends, you know, they're really into it now. And so wherever they are in the world on April 12th, they go on the website and they're like, hey, what's happening near me? And so a couple of our friends were in Beijing one year for April 12th. And so they looked up where the party was and they went and like all these aerospace students from, you know, the Aeronautical University of Beijing, like some of them, it was the first time they'd ever seen a Westerner. And, you know, there's like, George Wyman from Boeing, and they're like, whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a really fun, fun, you know, inter exchange. Um, the guys in Toronto convinced the Science Center there to host an event too, so that was, you know, really cool. Uh, you know, Boulder had a, you know, they just go to a bar and, you know, tell their friends to come and get the band to come, and, you know, just they just do it up. Um, the, the future of Yuri's Night, one of the things we've always, um, said with Yuri's Night is that we think it's a um, holiday that could be celebrated 10,000 years in the future, you know, when we're, humanity is scattered out through the galaxy, um, you know, it's a, you know, we all turn back to look at the home planet, um, and we'll, all, what we have in common at that point is, you know, remembering the first human who had left our home planet and started all of this, um, so that's one of the, that's our context for what we're, what we're doing. Um, so, Basically, this whole way I had so many creative, amazing, interesting, diverse experiences and people and talents in the room. I thought I would throw it open <clears throat> to see what ideas you guys had for Yuri's Night. Um, here, here in LA this year, um, there's some guys who are um, offering to host an event. Um, again, near Hollywood and Vine, uh, at the Wooden Vine Bar there. Um, having a DJ and visuals and stuff and so things we could do there or things we could do in addition to that or things we could do in other cities or things we could do planetary wide or whatever <coughs> whatever you think oh we even got a whiteboard <laughs> and a willing volunteer so I know I just let's let throw it open to questions or comments or suggestions or ideas or whatever you got I'd like to know how you sort of create the framework for your insight to spread, and like how much do you try to manage, and how much do you let it go? At first we were worried about managing it, and then we decided if we really wanted to grow, we had to just give it all away. Um, so everything's free, um, like registering is free. It didn't used to be, actually, because um, we were trying to cover our costs. and. Everyone, okay, everyone give it $10 or whatever, but now we're just like, hey, you know, just run with it. You can use all of our logos, you know, just do it nicely, you know, and, um, you know, if you want to buy a t-shirt or something, you got to pay 10 bucks, but, you know, that's because it costs us 10 bucks to make a t-shirt. Um, so, yeah, we try to try to crowdsource, you know, give a, give a total autonomy to the events to do whatever they want to do and run it locally and all that. And just, yeah, it's all virtual, so it's all run over the internet and, you know, using our various email lists and networks and stuff like that um, to promote it. Okay. Um, when I was a kid, I thought nothing else but being an astronaut and loved everything about space. And I, I want to see more of that with kids these days. Have you ever thought about maybe kind of expanding Yuri's night to maybe having a Yuri's day? Where you partner with like local planetariums and have like school kids who are in and who are partnered with the local MCAs, like have a day to really, you know, bring that back to the community and the kids. Yeah, absolutely. Um, because it's so distributed and everyone does what, what they want, you know, a lot of people who have that as their passion are like, okay, <clears throat> you know, Florida, we're doing it all day and we're doing it with kids and we're getting the planetarium involved. And so, yeah, people definitely have 
we have a lot of people going with that direction. In fact, we have someone on our executive team who's like, her job is just reaching out to high school kids, you know, because she's a high school kid. So we're like, maybe that's your job. You you take care of the high schools. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's a big. That's definitely um, part of part of the mix. Brad, have you had any approvals from Space Station? Yes, uh, amazing, amazing success with space. So since 2003, we've typically gotten a, a recorded message from the space station every year from the crew on board, just shouting out to all the parties around the world, happy your, you know, Yuri's night. And then this past year, um, it was extraordinary because uh, Ron Garen was going to be, he's an American uh, astronaut, and he was going to be on the space station for Yuri's night. And uh, he actually sent out a tweet, maybe October, like before his mission, like, oh, it'd be so cool if I could throw a Yurzai in space. And we we're like, thanks. So we're like, it's like, reply, reply. You know? um, so we got in touch with him. We're like, of course you can throw a Yurzai. But what, what do you need? You know? And he's like, well, if, if you can ship me, you know, six T-shirts to Japan to put on the, you know, the the vehicle that's going up the space station for cargo. It's due, it, I need it in Houston on, by Monday, but to get it there and it, through the approval, NASA approval system to get it as a proof cargo, but I could get it up to this, okay, so we like fed his stuff to Houston. Um, and he's just been really fabulous. So, and there was the 50th anniversary of, fl of the flight. So of course the Russians were totally on board. Um, and so yeah, we had all the crew in Yuri's Night shirts and he had Yuri's Night patches and Yuri's Night stickers and he took pictures of them in the windows and he was just lovely and he even brought some of them back. He managed to get down, download cargo, which is even harder um, from the International Space Station and brought some of the stuff back recently. And so we have this like precious, like space flown, like Yuri's Night t-shirts and stuff. Um, so that was our, that's been our, the, you know, and they got a great picture of all the crew in their shirts and with, you know, Katie's hair like going straight up and, you know, and they're doing their toast to Yuri you know, on the 12th, which of course they were gonna do anyway. Uh, but it was great to have them really see that as, as part of, of the bigger worldwide event. Awesome, so basically, uh, Yuri's Night is gonna happen in LA. As, as you've seen, it has the potential to be an amazing party, a great time, um, just celebrate space. And so, so we definitely want to involve as much of the community as possible to, to make this happen. The, the more people we have involved, the more we can do, the more we can pull off, the better a party it can be. So, um, you know, we want to reach out to uh, both those of us in the space community and outside of the space community. We want to be a celebration of what it means to everybody on Earth, not just for you know, people who make rockets. Absolutely. So, um, is anybody interested in helping out? Okay, cool. awesome. You got my share, like support on Okay, we love it. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Anybody else? Cool. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, basically, you know, if you guys are interested, like, let's, you know, we can disperse the, the audience group sort of thing and just kind of yeah, come up here, start talking, start throwing yeah. ideas around. Um, one, one quick thing to note before we break. So, um, the, the easy, do you guys have a mailing list or anything to, to get, get on? Um, uh, I hope so. Yeah, I mean, go to our website, www.yurisnight.net. Um, you know, there, there should be a place to sign up for a mail list. That, you know, if not, you can at least sign up for the Twitter feed or, you know, <laughs> Facebook group or whatever. Um, those are probably more active than email lists anyway. Cause, okay, and um, awesome. So check out yurisnight.net. Um, also, uh, Clive and I and Simone run the LA Space Salon, and we're going to coordinate some of this organization through the salon. So you can also go to laspacesalon.com, get on our email list, and we'll send out a blast. Definitely, um, you know, in the next near, near, you know, next few days, next week, um, to get more information out there as well. So, um, you know, those are ways to electronically get in the loop. But otherwise, you know, come up here and let's just start to figure out what we might do. So. Let's do it. Cool. Thanks, you guys.